Ready? One. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I am giving you guys the best knockoffs that they have available. Number one, Dawn Dish Soap. $2.94, $1.69. And Aldi ain't even playing. They put them right next to each other on the shelf. Everybody raves about Dawn and how they can break through the grease. In the Gulf of Mexico, where they always have like oil spills, you know, you seen those commercials where they clean the little baby duck like that? <laughs> I just want to clean the baby duck like that too. Can I volunteer for that? Because I will volunteer all day to clean baby ducks and like penguins. <laughs> I don't think they have penguins in the golf. But if you needed to do somebody to do that, <laughs> I want to do it. I want to do it because that is God's work. <laughs> so I have here two bowls of water and two oily cups. The way I'm going to test this is I'm going to make soapy water like that. Then I'm going to put my cups in. I'm not going to scrub. I might do a little bit of this. <laughs> Okay, go to bed. And then I'm gonna take it out. I wanna see which one really cuts through the grease or the extra virgin olive oil from Sam's. Let me take a peek at the ingredients real quick because you know somebody's gonna ask me. That's funny too. A lot of people are like, Vivian, you're not even doing a test right. Vivian, you never read the instruction. Vivian, you're biased. Vivian, you just hate. Vivian, you're just drunk. Vivian, just because they did it in the infomercial don't mean you can do it at home. Vivian, just because they said it is practicism doesn't mean it really is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like I've had people tell me, Vivian, that nonstick pan didn't say that it was nonstick. It's in the name. Stoop. Spend your money where the hell you want. Listen to me going on a rant. The original Dawn. And don't get me wrong. I actually love their product. Did y'all see that TikTok where the lady's using Dawn in the washing machine? Like she puts this instead of bleach. Like that's how good this stuff is. And they clean ducks like this. <laughs> If I could save fucking $2 on the same bottle. Oh, Dawn is giving me 21.6 fluid ounces. Aldi is giving me 21 fluid ounces for $2 less. We're saving all kinds of money here. <laughs> That's the best TikToker. Have you guys seen him? I need to stop talking about TikTok because it only shows you guys my addiction. We need to boycott them. It's too much. But y'all, that's the funniest kid on the internet. The dude who acts like a teacher. It's ready. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. Forgot to smell it. It's close. The Aldi one is a little bit more perfumey, but it's very close. One, two, three. Just visually, same. They're both acting the exact same way. That's pretty good. Now, let's put our oily cups in them. Look at that. Dawn, Aldi. It's been a couple minutes. Is soap just soap? Just soap? No. I'm all about saving money, but sometimes with soap, detergent, soapy stuff, I'm like pay full price because it makes a difference. We need that shit to clean good. Get the germs off, get the fungalitis off, get the oils off, the dirt, the juices, the stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it does matter, but I'm about to tell you if you can save $2. One, two, three, go. <laughs> very scientific. This is how they do it in the laboratories. I'm not scrubbing. I'm not touching it. All I'm doing is running the soapy water through it. I don't even get to do that. Time's up. What? Clean, clean, clean. I expected it from the Dawn, but the Aldi performed just as well. Tell me it's not. Look at the water. It even looks the same. Save yourself the $2 and buy yourself this guy. So I'm going to give the Aldi Dawn knockoff five Vivian heads. It performed the same. Number two, Olay Great Value Body Wash. I love this stuff. I actually only use this stuff. I've never really used the brand name, the Olay. This one is 22 fluid ounces. This one is 23.6 fluid ounces. So you're definitely getting a lot more product here. The price difference on this one wasn't crazy, but there is still a price difference. And if they're doing the same thing, 
you're smelling yummy with either one and your skin stays so yummy soft and it has the best, very gentle, very soft, very mild scent to it. It is birch water and lavender. Now for this test, we're gonna do something fun. I saw this not on an LA commercial, but on a Dove commercial and I thought it was such a good idea. They took roses and I have my beautiful roses for my actual garden that we're gonna dip in there. And the reason they do it is to show you when you use their product and you dry up, see which one shrivels up first. We need things to keep us nice, young, plump, and doughy, dewy. Oh, nice. If you buy this, you need to tag me on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be. If you buy this and love it, let me know. Cause I would be like, Told you, I put you onto this one. You're gonna thank me. As a matter of fact, all the items in this video, you're gonna thank me later. I promise, you're gonna save a million dollars and <gasps> it's the same. You can't tell me no different. You can't tell me different. Visually, same damn thing. Yes, all day. Okay, I'm gonna touch it again like I did the other one. Okay, ready? Same, same. Now let's dip some roses in there. How cool, they look exactly the same. I'm telling you, if I did a blind test, like I couldn't tell you which one's which. We're gonna just dip them in for like five seconds, take them out, I'll blow dry them just to speed up the process and then we'll see which one shriveled up more. Okay, ready? Real quick before I take them out of here, the one from Walmart seems like the water is cloudy, like I can actually see things moving around in there. The one from Olay, it's cloudy, but it's I can't see anything moving. It's just like cloudy water. I don't know how to explain it. You guys need to see it for yourselves. You guys ready? Let's take them out. <laughs> okay, now let me get the blow dryer and just blow them very gently just to get them dry. What a cool test, who does this? It's drying up really nicely. Who knew you could blow dry a rose? Don't blow dry your roses, but for this experiment, look at that, it fluffed up, it's got volume now. This one was a bigger rose, so that's why it looks fluffier and more fluffed, but look at this blowout on both of these. Is that cool or what? Now, which one seems drier? I'm gonna say they both performed exactly the same. If I hadn't done these myself, I don't think I could tell you the difference. So based on all of these different tests that I did for the roses, I'm gonna say buy this one, save yourself a couple of bucks. But this one is still good. Number three, Scrub Daddy. Dollar Tree, instead of purchasing the Scrub Daddy, which is four times the price of this guy, they both advertise as scrubbers that can be soft in warm water for gentle scrubbing and cleaning, or they both say this, they can be firm in cold water for deep cleaning and scrubbing. Dollar Tree sells a knockoff now, so obviously they understand that you guys are making gazillions of dollars. Dollar Tree said, we can do it for a dollar. Yes, ma'am. Just because they don't have it in the shape of a smiley face or little eyeball holes where you can stick your fingers, they made stars. I'm good with stars if it works the same. And it actually feels exactly the same. On one side of this cookie sheet, it's gonna get scrubbed with the Scrub Daddy, and one side of this cookie sheet is gonna get scrubbed by the Dollar Tree Go Daddy. I am gonna make a little pasty paste to rub on here. I'm gonna put a lot of the OxyClean because I need it to be a paste. 
I might just leave it, <laughs> just go with it. That's enough. I put way too much. That right there is about $30 worth of OxyClean. Why does OxyClean get hot? Nobody explained that to me. Anthony Sullivan, can you let me know? I'm just gonna pour a little bit. I'm gonna get it on both sides. The paste is the secret sauce. Because this is seasoned and nasty, I'm going to go ahead and use it cold or dry like this because I want it to scrub really good. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Look at that guy. Let's do the Dollar Tree side. Dollar Tree side, Scrub Daddy side. The Scrub Daddy side looked like it did a little bit more. So I've cleaned the two sponges off. I also have some fresh water here, which I'm going to use to wipe them off to see which side looks better. Look at that. I can't even hate on them for $4. Here's the second time around. I'll tell you this, the only difference that I have noticed throughout this whole process, the Scrub Daddy does look slightly, maybe 5% cleaner than the Dollar Tree side. And the sponges themselves, when wet, the Scrub Daddy seems a little bit softer. The Dollar Tree one, even when wet, is a little bit firmer. You tell me in the comments down below. Here's what it looks like. With all things considered, I'm gonna say the Dollar Tree Scrub Daddy knockoff is totally worth every cent for you to find. The Scrub Daddy is a good brand, it's a great product, but it is four times the price of the Dollar Tree one. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree knockoff five Vivian heads. Number four, almond butter. Maranatha, I think that's how you pronounce it, brand, all natural, no sugar, no salt, no nothing. Have you seen these at Walmart? Pricey. Now Amazon, <laughs> they thought we're gonna give them the Sam size for a fraction of the price. This one, creamy almond butter, 100% almonds. Dried roasted almonds is the only ingredient listed. The Amazon one is giving us 27 ounces of almond butter. The brand name is giving us 12 ounces. And let me tell you the price. $6.98 for the 12 ounces, $8.64. Now let's see if they both taste delicious, which they should because they're both just dried. <gasps> So the Amazon one doesn't say anything about refrigerating after opening, but the brand name says to refrigerate after opening. But here's what I'm about to expose. I don't know if it's an exposed video or not, but the more expensive one, the brand name is giving me almonds, but it's also giving me palm oil. How much of this is palm oil? The Amazon one, the only ingredient listed is dry roasted oil almonds, 100%. So with this one, you're getting two ingredients. Give them a, they're different. I think palm oil firms up like this. I thought almond butter, the whole idea was that it was like in its natural oils and it's kind of soupy. I don't know about the palm oil, that's throwing me off. Let me know which one you guys prefer. Is there some kind of health benefits or is the palm oil totally ruining this all natural almond butter? Somebody let me know the science behind all this. Okay, it's still soft, but I can smell the palm oil. Look at it, it's really nice. I mean, it's creamy, but it's a solid, you know? Now, let's try this one. Look at, look at this, practically soup. This is what I'm used to. <laughs> this is what I want, right? Some people say stir it, some people say don't stir it. I wanna stir it because I wanna get more than just oil out of here to put on the table. They look like completely different products. Let's try the brand name first. I can taste something in addition to my almond butter. I'm not a fan of the palm oil, not at all. It gives it a weird taste. It's changing the taste of my almond butter. Mmm. It just coats your mouth so nicely. <laughs> it's like glue. So good. Perfection. I'm sure this is a great brand, but I'm gonna say run to get this if you're gonna go get some almond butter, save yourself the money, get yourself the Sam size tub, and enjoy 100% dry roasted almonds. So I'm gonna give the brand name three Vivian heads, and I'm gonna give 
the Amazon Almond Butter Girl go get you some five Vivian heads. Number five, Starbucks iced coffee in these little bottles that they sell. This one, $2.89. This one from Aldi, $1.89. So we're saving about a dollar. Same size, same amount of calories. You can at least save me some calories. 13.7 fluid ounces for each one. I don't enjoy Starbucks. I think it's hyped. I think it's overpriced. Somebody said this in the comments the other day. Let me tell you some gossip. Somebody in my comments said, I already see hatred before I even finish this video. Listen. I don't care that much. If you want to pay an extra dollar for Starbucks, that makes no difference in my life. <laughs> like, think about the comment you're about to leave me. So when I tell you I don't like something, it's not because I have hatred for them. I don't care either way. They're your dollars. I'm just telling you based on my experience what I think. Both of them have the same calories, 290, 290. And on a normal day, I would never in my wildest dreams pick this up at Aldi on any day. I don't care how cheap you are. I just don't do coffee with this many calories because Starbucks has created this industry where people think that these candies in a liquid form are cool. Let me know in the comments down below if you love Starbucks. I mean, you can love whatever you want. Again, it doesn't make no difference to me. I'm talking too much today, but I've always said this to family and friends. I give tips and advice all day and I sleep like a baby at night. You gotta live with your choices and your consequences, so it's up to you. Take whatever tips and advice I give. It makes no difference in my life. You should really follow. That should be a rule in our handbook somewhere. It probably is, number 55. Smell test. Starbucks has that signature Starbucks caramel macchiato vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're different, but you know what I mean. And I'm not coming to tell you which one is more vanilla tasting. I'm coming to tell you which one's more worth the $2.89. Here's the Starbucks. Don't get me wrong. I am a coffee connoisseur. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> I heard it somewhere. I'm just repeating it. I think it means the person who loves it, right? Nobody cares. I love coffee though. See, this one's darker and I love dark coffee. Okay, what do you think? Every day of the week, I'm gonna go for the darker one. I love coffee. I'm about to contradict myself because yeah, Starbucks is overpriced. So is Nespresso. Y'all know that that's what I love. Nespresso, bougie ass. I know, people are like, Folgers is just fine. And I'm like, hell no, girl. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, based on these two products right here. The reason they have a cult following is because their shit is good. The coffee itself is good. It just, to me, is too hyped, too much. Chill, sit down. I gotta calm the hell down because I'm about to sell my shares in nowhere. <laughs> I don't have any shares. I should buy some shares in Aldi. It's okay. Clean the palette. Ready? One, two, three, go. All day. This, a little bit watery, very sweet, not a lot of coffee flavor, a lot of vanilla flavor. This is delicious. The first thing I taste is delicious coffee. So out of these two guys, for sure, guaranteed, not just cause I'm drunk. If you're near an Aldi, grab you some of this, save yourself a dollar per bottle. That's a lot. If you're getting a six pack, vanilla water, this is coffee with a little bit of everything. Those are my thoughts. So I'm going to give the Aldi iced coffee five Vivian heads, the Starbucks vanilla iced coffee two Vivian heads. I said it. Number six, dry shampoo in the dark brown color. This stuff is so expensive and I absolutely love it. But every time I would go buy this little can and I almost paid nine bucks, I think at Walmart, I can get these for like seven and some change and some places are even like 8.88, almost $9. Guess who's knocking them off? Walmart, thank you very much because this guy here is $4, half the price of this guy here. And as you can see, based on the bottle, one is bigger, you're getting more product in this guy. This one here, you're getting six 0.73 ounces. This one here, 10.1 fluid ounces. Everybody that I know uses this brown one because it's genius. It's not only dry shampoo, but it's also a dark brown. And if you're a blonde, you have no idea why we need a dark brown one so that it doesn't look like we have a dandruff infestation going on. This is the traditional dry shampoo that kind of went viral, very popular some years back. And pretty much all of the brands brands that are out there of dry shampoo, this is the standard. It's a white powdery spray that helps eliminate 
like oil in your hair so you don't look all greasy, this is what you use. Let me show you what the white one or the traditional original one does to hair. I have here my beautiful hair model. She's gorgeous, only one eyebrow still. And I'm just gonna spray it like right here in the center so you guys can see. This. <laughs> I sprayed more than I needed to, but I wanted you guys to see that if you haven't washed your hair in three days and you're trying to spray a lot of this in, this is what you're gonna look like. Now you're supposed to fluff it out. Looking like a dandruff. We are not gonna go on that Tinder date with all this nonsense going on there in the front. Ain't looking cute at all. But does it work? 100%. Is it worth the money? Yes, the original one, but now we got an alternative. Now we'll go to a brunette wig that I also purchased from Wish. One of my favorite wigs ever. We'll spray a little bit of this brown and then we'll test the one from Walmart. <laughs> Boom, and then you fluff it out. Girl, I love this stuff. And this brand is amazing. I'm not even knocking the brand. Look at that fluff, that volume. Girl, that greasiness is gone. If you haven't washed your hair in a couple days, you put a little bit of this in, girl, you're fresh and clean. <laughs> at least your hair is. I don't know about anything else, but look at that. And if your hair is like really thin, this also gives it like a little bit of texture because it's literally like powder in there. You'll see it. It'll get in your nails and stuff, especially this brown one. Look how good that looks, right? You're ready for that day, girl. Go get you some. Okay, let's put her to the side real quick. The color is different. Interesting. This one here is more of a reddish brown. This one is more of a dark brown, kind of like a cool color. This is kind of a warmer color. This one, it seems like you're getting a lot more product per spray than you are with this guy. Let me show you this guy now. No, maybe they're the same. It's the colors throwing me off a little bit because this one's such a deep kind of a chocolate brown. They still seem to be working the same. They're not leaving any kind of white or chalky look anywhere. So I'm still loving them. So based on that test that we just did there, I'm totally impressed with this product here. So I'm gonna give the dry shampoo from Walmart five Vivian heads and this one as well. Both of them. Number seven. Sham Wow, the original brand name. And then we have the Dollar Tree Sham Whammy. Not only the Dollar Tree is knocking it off, Daiso is even knocking it off. Super absorbent water sheet. They didn't even try to get funny with the name. You're gonna get one little sheet for $1. So you're gonna get two of them with their logo stamped all over the place. This thing promises all kinds of stuff. It can like absorb like 20 times or 10 times its own weight. You can use it on your car, house, husband, dog, floors, carpet, neighbor, roses. You get two of this size. We're only gonna use one today, so I'll throw the other one to the side. I got some gossip. Based on the infomercial, they have sold a gazillion of these. There's been two pitch guys for this thing. Mm -hmm. Billy Mays, the original uh, godfather of infomercial, right? Rest in peace, Billy Mays. And then we have the, the guy with the chopper. That's what I remember him for. Not so much this thing, but he's pimping this out now too. Yeah, the Dollar Trees. <laughs> the ShamWow. <laughs> I mean, okay, fine. Okay, so they're giving you just a little bit, but I still don't think this is worth $19. Yeah, probably $4. I think it's only fair for us to cut the ShamWow to the same size so that as I'm testing it, we have the same amount of material. How many yards, ma'am? Have you ever been to Walmart to buy yards of fabric that you are never gonna use? Yeah, I've done it. Original one is a little bit more of a deeper orange color so you'll be able to see which one is the Dollar Tree one. We have two sodas here. I will spill one entire soda per sheet of ShamWow and then just pick it up like this. I don't even have to pat it on because the infomercial, that's what they do. No pressure, no tricks, no cartwheels, no nothing. <laughs> this is a lot of soda. Ready? One, two, three, go. I might not be able to do the whole thing. <gasps> that's a lot of soda. Oh! 
Look at it. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not lifting a finger. I need you to absorb all of this. Just like they did in that 1982 commercial. I'm not done though. I still got half a soda. I just had to stop because it was about to leak on my floor. I'm just gonna lay it on top like a paper towel. Give it a minute to suck it up. Yeah, there's still a puddle here and it's dripping. So why does it smell like gas? Is that the ginger ale? I don't know what that is, but it's strong and you ain't getting nothing. That's how much liquid I picked up. Not much. When I clean this, all I want to do right here. The second time around, it's still not completely dry like the infomercial, but it's better. The Dollar Tree Shamwow, same deal. Go, ready? Oh, the Shamwow did something better than what I'm seeing so far. This one feels like it needs a second to kind of start sucking in. The ShamWow immediately picked it up. That's a difference. Doing the same thing, kind of leaving a little bit behind. It's completely drenched. It did not immediately start absorbing. It didn't activate. <laughs> it looks like it's picking up more. Do not pay $19.99. Put it down again. Look how much liquid the Dollar Tree one got. Okay, wait a second. Why is Dollar Tree one a different color? It's the same soda. Little concerned that this one is leaking ink or dye or something out of it. Do you guys see it? It looks like they both picked up the same amount of liquid, which is the real test. So I have two fresh pieces of product. I've cut the ShamWow one more time. What they did was they poured liquid into the car Carpet and then showed how the sham wow was so absorbent that it went through the carpet, through the little backing to the surface of your floor. It was dry underneath. I'll just say this. I don't think the sham wow was going to do it. The Dollar Tree didn't promise it, but I don't think they're going to do it either. Ready? One, two, three, go. We got to go slow so it leaks in there. We're going to start with the sham wow. One, two, three, go. Just pat it down and then turn it over, and then turn it over, and then turn it over. And this is a tiny little spot. Look at this. Get out of here with this. This test that they did in the infomercial is a stretch. It's a little bit too good to be true. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just do the Dollar Tree one. Turn it over. Now, I don't know why this one is showing more liquid on all sides compared to the actual Sham Wow. $1, $20. <laughs> the same amount of water is there. Don't be fooled by that damn infomercial. So just based on this, yeah, they both performed pretty much identical to each other. Save yourselves the $19. So I'm going to give the ShamWow two Vivian heads and I'm going to give the actual Dollar Tree $1 knockoff of the ShamWow four Vivian heads. Number eight. Premier Protein Protein Vanilla Shake. You're gonna pay $3.99, the brand brand, you're gonna pay $7.99. This is my favorite protein shake. One gram of sugar, one gram of sugar, 30 grams of protein, 30 grams of protein, 160 calories. This one does have, I think a little bit more, 170. So 10 more calories in this one. Do you guys remember when I first did one of these videos, the Red Bull, girl, it was like a quarter of the price and it tasted just as good. Same with Snapple. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this is the original brand. Oh, that vanilla smells so nice. Hmm, I don't smell this vanilla too much. It's there, but very faint. This, ooh, very strong vanilla smell. Let's see. Okay, so just looking at them like this, I couldn't tell you the difference. I'll start with Aldi's. Save yourself half the money. Hold on. Save, oh wait a second. I was gonna say, save yourself half the money. Texture, smoothness, exactly dead on the same. This one does have, even when I tasted it, this one does have a stronger vanilla smell and taste. Like this one was a little bit sweeter. I would actually skip out on this to go to this for the amount of money that I would be saving. $3.99, $7.99. So I'm gonna give the high performance protein vanilla shake four. Vivian heads. And here's a little pro tip somebody told me, not told me, I saw it on TikTok or Instagram or something. But use this instead of creamer if you're doing kind of a keto diet. I'm gonna start doing that. Isn't that good? 
Number nine, Nutella versus the Aldi hazelnut spread. Now I'm an expert at Nutella, okay? I was raised on this stuff. Nobody's tricking me here. I'm not comparing the price of this one. The price that I'm gonna give you is for the same size as this guy here. Let's see how many calories it has. 210, 200. But the price difference though, if they're the same, I'm gonna be so disappointed Nutella has let me down. This one here, the same size, but the Nutella would be 429 versus $1.39. Ugh. Let's open it. Let's see what we got going on here. Are they done in the same factories? Oh my God, I don't know. Somebody let me know. You guys are so smart. In my last video that I did for Walmart knockoffs, you guys knew all kinds of stuff. Somebody told me that there's a spoon under here. Is that an urban myth? I'm about to debunk some of this stuff. Don't trick me. <laughs> Maybe not on this one, maybe on the little one. Raise your hand in the comments down below if you've never had Nutella. That's gotta be impossible, right? Like everybody on earth has had Nutella at this point. Oh my God, heavenly. Let's look at them. Look how creamy they are. Let me see, is this one even moving? See, this one is already, look, you can see it starting to drip down. This one is not moving. Is it as creamy? I don't think so. Ooh. that smells exactly like it. We're gonna start with this one because I already know you win. The texture is the same. This one seems a little bit more, no, it's the same. Look at that. Let me get more on this one, that's only fair. See Nutella. The problem is that, no, I can taste the difference. On a scale of one to 100, this guy is about a 98% copycat of the Nutella, the original one. But there is that 2% difference in flavor and texture. It's creamy, but it's not as creamy. If you just gave it to the kids, they're not gonna know. They're not gonna know. Save yourself the money, so close. So I'm gonna give the Aldi Nutella four Vivian head. Number 10, caramel coconut cookies with a little bit of fudge. I know you can guess what inspired these or which product inspired these, right? Girl Scout cookies. I don't have Girl Scout cookies to compare to these because obviously they only sell them like once a year unless you got a stash at your house and you haven't told anybody, but I don't have any. I don't know anybody. Don't call me. I don't wanna know. I'm not, I don't know. I'm buying the ones at Walmart because these cost me $1.38. Girl Scout cookies, here we go. They're the exact same thing. I'm gonna put a picture here of what the Girl Scout cookies look like. <gasps> this might be the same little plastic container for all I know. That's how similar they are. So compared to the Girl Scout cookies, I'm gonna say this is one of the best Walmart generic slash knockoffs that they have. And I think they do the little thin mints as well, but these take the cake. So I'm gonna give the caramel coconut cookies that look and feel and taste like the Girl Scout cookies, 10. Five, but 10. Number 10, trash bags. The Aldi, you get 80. Glad, you're gonna get 40. $5.29 for 80. The Glad, you're getting 40 for $7.29. You already win. Now, the only difference that I can see visually just by the box is these have that tie, these don't. These are fancy, this is leak proof. It says something about Clorox. Am I paying for all this fanciness? It's a trash bag. Does it matter? I want 80 of them for $5.29 is what I'm saying. I don't think I've ever purchased the name brand of trash bags. This is another one. I said this in my last video, Ziploc. That's another one. I, I will always buy the off brand or the knockoff or the dupe. Same with trash bags. I'm like, I'm not paying double the price for less product and the same thing. We're gonna pour some vinegar to see which one has the better locking smell technology. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. They do have a great Citrus smell, I guess that helps. I just take out the trash frequently so my kitchen doesn't stink. That works for me. <laughs> These, no smell. They do feel kind of basic, but what you want, it's a trash bag. These do feel and look a little fancier. These feel really thin. These feel thicker. Look at this technology. And <laughs> like, I'm impressed because I've never used the actual brand name of these trash bags, but look, you can see the stretch. 
These don't stretch like that. Let me know in the comments down below what brand of trash bag do you use? I'm curious now, cause I'm like, damn, these are fancy. I ain't fancy like this. It looks strange. It looks like, you know, when you stretch out plastic really hard and it kind of like warps it or makes it thinner. I don't know, but that's what this looks like. This one is definitely gonna camouflage. I feel like some of the smell because it has this citrusy clean smell to it, but can I smell the vinegar through? That's the real question. Let's tie a knot, the exact same amount of vinegar. And then I'm gonna tell you if I can smell that vinegar. <laughs> Very strong citrus smell. That's totally gonna camouflage a lot, but citrus on top of trash on top of, that's not making it any better. That's just complicating the smell. Okay, I can't smell it. I, I just smell the citrus. That's pretty impressive. Listen, Aldi, if y'all just add a scent, I can smell the vinegar, but just so faint. I'm kind of on the fence on this one. The odor shield on this thing actually works. So I'm gonna give the Aldi trash bags four Vivian heads, and I'm gonna give these guys four. Number 10. For this one, you're gonna have to sit down. This is breaking news. Vivian just picked this up literally 24 hours ago. We've all seen this brand. We've all seen their moisturizers. They sell all kinds of skincare, but it's expensive. I think it was like $10.87. Let's just round it up to $11. Guess what Walmart did? Walmart went, boom, I can do it better. And guess before I tell you in the comments down below what the price difference is here, $2.87. 87 cents around there and you're probably thinking well vivian this one probably has less no it doesn't 12 fluid ounces in each so how do we test it this avocado is gonna be your pretend face <laughs> i saw this on instagram i thought it was funny but they did it with an orange it's okay it's just for pretend so you guys can kind of get an idea of how this is gonna work on your skin i saw this on uh instagram you can kind of see it there Tell me this test is not good, right? I think those are ready. ASMR moment. <laughs> this is the calendar off my wall in my office. It's a glass one, but I thought it was perfect for this test because we wanna be able to see it. Let's check the smell and consistency. The funniest part is that Walmart has to put on the back that they are not associated with this brand or any other brand that they're knocking off. But in the front, it tells you that it's compared to this guy. First, we'll do the Walmart one pump or two pumps. Dude, is the same. It smells exactly the same. Nobody's gonna tell me different unless I saw it on clinical studies. <laughs> okay, let's touch it like this, huh? We should, let me see. Same squishiness <laughs> from both sides. We'll try this one first with this avocado. A Little bit of soap from right here. Just with your hands. We're not using any kind of special tools. Okay. <laughs> All kinds of ASMR moments today. Okay. I mean, look at all that that's still on that avocado. That's a pretty good test, huh? This guy, look at the before. Same foundation, same amount, same time drying. Now a little bit of this Walmart cleanser. I'm gonna say they worked exactly the same. So which one are you gonna buy? They look the same, they smell the same, they feel the same. You're getting the same amount of product and it looks like they take the same amount of makeup off, not much. So. For those reasons, I'm gonna give the Walmart great value one, five. Vivian heads, you can't beat the price. Number 10, toilet paper. I always buy this one. Once in a while, I'll splurge and get this, but I don't wanna pay this price. I wanna pay this price. The great value is giving me 12 mega rolls, nine mega rolls, which equal, they love to do this, equal 36 regular, what? Here's the size difference. Tell me if you can see a difference yet. Nope. I have six sheets here. We're gonna just pile those up. Nice little cubes here. 
And then we're gonna do the same for that one. And I have measured out the same amount of water so that we can see which one's going to absorb it all in. So as far as like softness, I think they're both the same. <laughs> the Charmin one is soft and is way thicker. I think softness wise, they're both soft. This is a good test because everybody needs toilet paper and toilet paper is expensive. Now in both of these guys, we have 35 milliliters to see which one's going to suck it all in. We'll do this one first. Oh, oh no, it leaked to this side. I have to start over. <laughs> I'm gonna say it took all of that in. Six, here we go. I'm pretty impressed with how much liquid that just took in. Ready? One, two, three, go. I'm gonna go slow because we need to give it a second to absorb. Okay, this one's leaking a little bit. This is very interesting. I'm glad I did this test. They win. I'm gonna give them this one. Now I'm gonna try to pick it up to see which one drips, right? Look at this. Let's see this one. I'm gonna say this one wins. You're saving a couple bucks, but this one is absorbing a lot more and a lot better. Now in the test that the guy did on YouTube, he just threw it in there for a few minutes and then he swirled it around to see if it would break up. Kind of when you flush the toilet, kind of like that. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, nice. See, this is the toilet. Let's see if it breaks up that toilet paper. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we all want in you know, a cloth to wipe our butts, but in a year, is that just not gonna break up ever in that toilet and it's just gonna clog up the pipes. It's breaking up nicely, actually. I'm kind of leaning towards this guy and paying the extra bucks now that I see these two tests I just did. Okay, I have fresh water here. I'm telling you, I'm impressed with this guy. Let's try the great value though. It might break up just as nicely. We'll put, um, this one's gonna break up really easy. I'll predict it. Ready? One, two, three, go. Very delicate. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's already breaking up. Now, if I have any plumbers out there, let us know which one's better. Because do we want the toilet paper to break up really fast? Does that matter? I would say yes, but I'm not sure. I'm not an expert in the area. So if you're a plumber or your husband's a plumber or your wife's a plumber or somebody you know is a plumber, ask them for me. Let me know in the comments down below. So as you guys can see, that took no time to completely just fall apart in that water. So the great value one is actually gonna win this actual test, but maybe it's not that great for it to break up that fast in the water. I don't know. So as far as this test is concerned, I'm kind of on the fence. I like the price of this one, but I like the performance of this guy. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads, and I'm gonna say this one still gets the five Vivian heads. Number 10. Shaving cream, E-O-S. This thing is $3.39, but Dollar Tree sells the knockoff. For $1, you guys, is shaving cream not one of those items that we can put in the category of shaving cream is just shaving cream is just shaving cream? I think so. The Dollar Tree brand actually says it is compared to the E-O-S brand. They are both pomegranate raspberry. They are both giving us seven ounces of product. They both promise to not give us any nicks, cuts, irritation, or razor burns. Oh, that smells nice. Okay, you're winning on the fragrance so far, but this one says it's also pomegranate. <gasps> I gotta smell that again. When your teenage daughter comes to you and says, mom, I want this look. You say, you get a job and then let me know if you still want that. See, when it's their money, they don't want to do it. But when it's your money, oh, they want the bougie stuff they saw on TikTok. No, ma'am. Listen, shaving cream is shaving cream is shaving cream. You can't convince me otherwise. Unless there is some magical like retinol or some anti-aging, like three in one, something like that, then fine. It smells amazing. I did not know that that combination was gonna smell so good. You can see that this one is way more light, way more watery. This one is thicker. It's moving less on my hand. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I hope you can. <laughs> it feels good. 
<laughs> That's what the EOS looks like. This one, we're gonna wipe it off to see which hand feels a little bit more moisturized because they both promise smoothness, moisture, not overly dry skin after you put this on first. EOS. I'm not gonna lie, that raspberry pomegranate smell is amazing. Now the Dollar Tree, girl, if you don't wanna spend your money on $4 shaving cream, this is fine, this will work. It's not gonna change your life or your destiny by not using this. So I really wanted to test it for moisture, smell, and consistency. And just based on those three things that I was really looking for, save yourself three bucks. So I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree EOS knockoff five Vivian heads. Number 10. Always with wings. The Aldi brand will give you 36 for $3.29 and the original brand will give you 18 for $6.99. So quite a bit of a difference here. Let's see how well they absorb. Both pick the yellow color, both about the same thickness. The Always, how thin this guy is. I mean, it's like wearing nothing, you guys. I also have here 40 milliliter blue water so that we can see which one will absorb more. Have you seen those pamper commercials? Kind of like that. The length, exactly the same. The width, the depth, identical. The thinness, identical. The Aldi has a nice thick tape backing to keep that shit in place. Putting it on this piece of glass. You guys can see the bottom when we're done to see if they leaked. Let's get the wings out <laughs> and open those up. Ooh, I didn't know that about the Always. They have in the center a little bit more cushion. This one doesn't. Now just looking at them, they look pretty much the exact same, but feeling them, these feel softer, like more cottony, more like underwear. These give me a little bit more of a plasticky, not a lot, just a little bit. They both have the exact same amount. Put your bets in. This is a lot of liquid. Listen, if you bled, <laughs> like this is a lot, you fainted. I'm gonna pour the entire amount on both and we'll just see. Is that realistic? Can somebody Google that for me? <laughs> How much is the amount before you go to the ER? This one first. I'm just gonna move it up and down in the area that they've designated for us. We don't know until we see the other side. Right now, all that gel is like sucking up all that stuff. Let's see what happens on the other side. Did you see that? Oh no. It sucked it up and then the first little top coating of the material lifted and is dry. I didn't know y'all had that German engineer technology now. Y'all didn't put that in your infomercial. What just happened? That was some matrix kind of shit just happened right there. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Can I touch it? I'm gonna touch it to see if it's wet because it's like it's separating. It's still a little bit damp. Let me see if this one's damp. What? Oh wait, let's go get some tissue. That's the real test, right? Pat it on top, put the same amount. Uh-oh, always with wings. I was impressed with your technology, but now I'm not impressed. This one's fluffed up like a pamper foot. <laughs> this one leaked. <laughs> okay, it's been about 60 seconds and they've settled. I can still see this one like moving. So weird. This one leaked into the wing. This one <laughs> sucked it all up. Dude, this is a gel pack <laughs> put in the refrigerator. <laughs> if you try that life hack, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> okay, ready? Push down. <gasps> what? This paper towel is soaking wet. This paper towel, look, I'm putting even more pressure on it. Crazy! I was impressed with all the little things happening over here getting absorbed and things moving. <laughs> this gel pack is thick too. Here's the big reveal. Let's flip them over and see what it looks like on the other side. Looky, looky, what is that showing me? It is showing me that this one, my actual blue water stayed within the padding, like it turned into gel. It stayed within that space where my gel is. This one, all over the place, just spread out the twist at the end. So guess what I'm gonna tell you to go run and get this stuff here. Let's leave this behind and let's move on to this new actual German engineer technology. I think Aldi is from Germany, isn't it? Let's save some dollars, ladies. 
these and grab some of these from now on. That's what I will be doing. So I'm gonna give the ultra thin pads with wings five Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the original brand three Vivian heads. Number 10, Neutrogena face makeup wipes. This is a very popular little wipey thing. Linda, Linda look it. Each of them has 25 towelettes. Neutrogena, the brand name, is saying that they have patented technology. Sounds very German engineer. So they promise to take off makeup, waterproof mascara foundation. Now I already have my makeup on and I can't take it off because today is a full day of filming. So I can't be messing up my makeup. So I'm not gonna put it on my face, but I'm gonna put it on my arms. People wear body makeup all the time. Makeup removal towelettes compared to the Neutrogena ones. Yes, they did. Removes long lasting makeup and waterproof mascara. Apples to apples. Okay. Oh, that's too much, Vivian. Unless you are Tammy Faye, they're coming out with a Tammy Faye movie. Did y'all see that? Oh, we gotta put the same because then it's not fair. Oh, one little squirt, one little squirt. We'll let it dry and then we'll start wiping with our wipes. I wanna smell them to see if they have a fragrance. I already got a whiff of something from the one from Aldi. That's the size. Oh, they smell just like, let's take these out. So let's see if these smell the same. These smell like Neutrogena. Close your eyes, Neutrogena. Did you smell it? That's what this smells like. Don't get me wrong, this one has a nice smell. Clean, fresh, size-wise. The one on top, Neutrogena. Neutrogena seems to be like that much longer. Foundation first. We'll start with the brand name. Okay, nice. Now, while it's still a little bit damp on my hand, I'm just gonna take a clean paper towel to see if there's anything left behind. Clean paper towel. Now let's do, we are sleeping on Aldi. We are. I've kind of become a fanatic. Okay, makeup off. While it's still damp, no makeup. Same one, don't waste these. Ready? One, two, wait. <coughs> <coughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Rewind that. Watch it in slow-mo. Those are the kind of reflexes that y'all better have to be on the crew. It came right off. Very clean. Now, oldy side. Same thing. This stuff is good. That's what I'm saying. Why? Wait, that's a vein. <laughs> Why are we spending more money when we don't have to? I'm gonna say, save yourself the dollar bills and buy these from Aldi. It's gonna be worth the drive. Buy yourself a couple different things. Get that coconut wine that I love. Get the Nutella. If you haven't watched my other two videos, go check them. And then go pick this up while you're there. Don't just go for one thing, because that's a waste of gas. Do not spend extra money for this. They do the same thing. So I'm gonna give the wipey removal things five Vivian heads. It even says made in Italy. Number 10, warming jelly. I don't even want to say the real name of this, but we all know it warms areas up. I can't say it. YouTube is very strict. This bottle here, the actual brand name is $7.99. The Dollar Tree, obviously $1. It's really easy to use. You just rub it on. That's it. So I hope, fingers crossed, that we can test it here on my arm and I can feel some kind of warmth. They have a little seal inside to make sure no dum-dum has touched this because that's gross. Don't be nasty. If you work at Target, Walmart, I don't care where you work and y'all sell this warming jelly and somebody has returned it, I need to know. If you buy jelly, it's a final sale. Hold on, let me see if it has a fragrance. Zero. The original brand name is giving me 2.5 ounces and the Dollar Tree warm touch two ounces and the one from Dollar Tree is also sealed thank you very much it smells like nothing I'm sure it's not activated by certain areas of the body right brand name ready one two three go let me see I told you it would work it doesn't know a difference between a narga and a hand it doesn't have German engineered technology built in oh that's not nice. <laughs> okay that's enough the texture is nice, silky, and it is warming up my hand really nicely. The Dollar Tree brand. So I'm not just feeling for the warmth. Dude, this is the same. That's actually warmer than this one. Listen, Dollar Tree, I'm gonna give you credit for that. Now the one from Dollar Tree says made in the USA. The brand name, made in England. So I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree warm 
touch five Vivian heads. And listen, this one's not bad either. It's just eight times the price. So we ain't gonna do all that. I'm gonna give the original brand four Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.